What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today I am going to be showing you how to mine Shiba Inu coin on your gaming PC at home. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a Shiba Inu wallet which you can send your profits to after you have mined. So in this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and use Exodus simply because it's free. It's easy to use and it does support the Shiba Inu token. Uh, I will leave a link below in the description if you want to go ahead and download this. Um, it's what I've used, it's what I trust, uh, and it will also be what I'm using today for this tutorial. Now, if you don't want to go ahead and use Exodus as your wallet, that is totally okay. You can use whatever wallet you want. The important thing we is here is we need to make sure that you have a receiving address for Shiba Inu so that you can send your profit to your wallet. That is the important part here. So as long as we've got that sorted, we can continue on with the tutorial. So next, we're going to go ahead and make a folder on our desktop, which is going to house or hold our mining software. So we're going to right click on the desktop, click new and then folder. Now you can go ahead and call this whatever you would like, but as the mining software we're going to be using today is called Unminable, I'm simply going to call mine Unminable uh, in order to keep things nice, simple and organized, but it does not matter. Name it whatever you would like. Now, before we go ahead and actually install the mining software, we need to make a few edits to Windows security in order to allow the software to be downloaded onto our PC. So we're going to press the Windows start key and type in virus and the first option will be virus and threat protection. Now, if you want to do that manually, you can also go to settings, window security and virus and threat protection. Now, we're going to have to do two things here. We're going to scroll down to virus and threat protection settings and we're going to select manage settings. First thing we're going to do is turn off real time protection. If you leave this turned on, Windows and Chrome will not allow you to download the mining software from the website and that of course would be problematic. We're also going to scroll down to the exclusions tab. Here we're going to click add or remove exclusions. What this basically does is you can point it towards a folder and it will basically not scan that folder for a virus, which is exactly what we want. Otherwise, every time you go ahead and try and open this mining software, it would flag it as being a virus. So we're going to click add an exclusion. We're working with a folder, so select folder. I'm going to make sure we select the folder we made earlier. In this case, mine is called unminable. Select folder and you will now see that there is an exclusion path pointing towards our unminable folder. So we can go ahead and close out of the Windows settings. Next, we are going to go ahead and actually download the mining software from Unminable. I will leave a link below in the description if you want to go ahead and download this uh, in order to start mining. Now, once you've selected that, we're going to go ahead and click on the green download button. This one includes the minor files and everything we need to get started. Now, as you will see, when we click on it to download it, Chrome will still block it as it thinks it is a dangerous file. But do not worry. We're going to press the show all button at the bottom right, which is going to head and bring up our downloads tab. Here we have two options, remove from list or keep dangerous file. Now, we're going to select keep dangerous file, but do not worry. It is not dangerous in any way. It's just the wording they use. This is a software that's trusted by millions of people around the world. So we're going to select keep a dangerous file and keep anyways. And you will see it will finish the download process. We're now going to head to our file explorer and select downloads. And here you will see that it has actually downloaded into our downloads folder. Now, as it is a .zip file, we are going to go ahead and have to extract it. So we're going to right click on the file and select extract all. Now we're not actually going to extract it to the default destination. We're going to actually download it or extract it to the unminable folder we created and excluded from virus protection earlier. So select browse, desktop, and here is the file that we made earlier. Now, I don't know what you've gone ahead and called your folder, but you do have to make sure that you extract it to this folder. Otherwise, the software will not run really important. So select the folder and press extract all. Now you will get ahead and see that we actually have an extension file or an application inside our unminable file folder and that is the mining software. So we are going to go ahead and without further ado double click that file in order to run our mining application. 
After a few seconds, you will see that Unminable will go ahead and launch in its own window. Unminable, the fastest and easiest way to start mining your favorite non-minable and some mineable coins. So, for clarification, Shiba Inu is not actually a coin you can mine. The way Unminable works is it mines in Ethereum, but pays you that amount of profit in your coin of choice. In this case, we want Shiba Inu. So you're not mining Shiba Inu, but everything will be paid in Shiba Inu, so do not worry. We're going to go ahead and select continue. Now you have two options, mining with your graphics card or your CPU. If you're running a dedicated graphics card, go ahead and select graphics card. If you are running a laptop maybe without a discrete graphics card, then select CPU. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using graphics card. Now we're going to select a coin or token. Now in this uh, tutorial, we are used to going to be mining Shiba Inu. So we're going to type in Shiba and we can go ahead and select our coin. Next, you want to go ahead and enter your wallet address, and this is the address that we needed earlier. So in my case, and if you're following along with me using Exodus, your case as well, we're going to go into Exodus, make sure we're in Shiba Inu, and select Receive. Here, we are going to copy our address and paste it into the address bar in Unminable. And you can see we now have the option to start mining. If we go ahead and click on that, we are now officially mining. Here you can see your balance, your 24-hour rewards, the total amount paid, uh, when you were last paid, and the payouts from, in this case, 600,000 Shiba. So every time it hits 600,000 Shiba Inu coin, it will go ahead and pay it out to your wallet. Now we're going to go ahead and quickly change a few things in the settings by pressing the advanced settings cog down at the bottom. Here we can change a few things. The first thing is the mining intensity. So we can choose between low and high. This basically means if you set it to low, it will draw less power. If you set it to high, it will draw more power. The more power it draws, the higher the hash rate, the more coin you will get. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to high because I want the most amount of Shiba Inu possible. Next, we can set the GPU mining algorithm. Here, there are two options again, ETC hash and ETH hash. Here's how it works. If your graphics card has three or less gigabytes of discrete memory, you want to select ETC hash. If you have four or more gigabytes of memory, then you want to select ETH hash. This way you will get the most amount of profit for your card. And in some cases, it will not even run if you select the wrong version. In this case, I'm running a six gigabyte card, so we're going to head and run ETH hash. Next, you set a custom worker name. This isn't too important. It just helps organization and naming your device. As I am currently running a RTX 2070, we're just going to go ahead and name mine 2070. And then we can save and restart. Now, you'll currently see that our current hash rate is zero mega hash. But if we give that a few seconds, that will update and change as the website and application update. So we're just going to give it a few seconds to go ahead and update and show the current hash rate. Now, while we're talking, while we're waiting for that, uh, if you want to get more uh, in-depth details, you can press the stats button next to your address, and that will bring up the web address for your account. Here, you'll see all the same statistics, but you also have a bit more fine-tuning of the settings. For example, you can do manual payouts at any point here, and you can also change a few of the settings once it realizes that you've started mining. So just slightly more fine-tuned settings than what is available in the app. And now if we head back to the application, you can see that we have started mining. So congratulations, you are officially mining Shiba Inu. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I have many more videos on mining different tokens on my YouTube channel and plenty more to come. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.